back for another haul for you guys. I have a 99 cent only Dollar Tree and I also have Walmart just a couple things and Target just a couple things. But yes, um what was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, don't mind my hair. I put in this um, frizz control from Dollar Tree. I hauled it in a couple videos ago. And I want to see it, what it's going to do to my hair. Because my hair is naturally like really frizzy. Like if I don't do anything to it. And I let it air dry. Which that's what I'm trying to do. Is let it air dry. So um, I want to see if this works or not. But this is from Dollar Tree. I do like the smell of it. Yeah, I do like the smell of it. It's not that bad, but I wanted to go ahead and try that out. I can already see my hair starting to frizz up a little bit, but that's normal. The usual is a lot bigger, but I'm going to start off with Dollar Tree things because I haven't really been picking up a whole lot. I picked up some ornaments, which are Christmas. I know it's early, but I'd rather get stuff early than go back and then they don't have anything so I did pick up this Christmas ornament it's like a top hat and it does have really nice um like the pattern and the material on here I do see it like kind of lifting up here but it's not something that's a big deal I think this one was made really nicely and it has like the burlap I just picked up one I didn't pick up more than one I might pick up a couple more, but I like how it has these little swig squiggly things. I don't know what they are and the little berries. So you can do a whole lot with these. I mean, if you don't want this right here, you can always take it off. But I just picked up one. Then I picked up one of these. This one is the Santa Claus sleigh. And this one has his face and then it says Merry Christmas. I honestly think that this one is made really nicely because of the fact that the words are nice. It's not glitter up here. It does have glitter like right here and on his mustache, but it's not something that I'm going to, you know, complain about because it's really nicely made. It's honestly a good size. Like it's as big as your hand. His face is a pretty good, like the size of my palm. So it's a pretty good size. And I think I might later pick up a couple more, but if not one, I'm okay with it. And then I did pick up just a command. This one is a wreath. It's a medium hook and I want it for a wreath. And I just picked up one of these. They always have these in like the automotive section, but I always pick up um, the smaller ones, the ones that come with two, but I wanted one for a wreath. So I just picked up one. Then I picked up these. I did see a lot of the Crayola stuff in my Dollar Tree, but honestly, I picked up a whole bunch for my daughter when um, the school started. The school, uh, some of the school stuff was on sale and stuff, so I didn't need to pick up any more. And I know it's a good deal, kind of, because some of the crayons are 8 count, which I could get a 24 count. I think I got a 24 count of Crayola at Walmart for 25 cents. So, uh, I mean, some of the ones that were at Dollar Tree are like the glitter ones and the little small pencils, which are cute. And they're, they would be great stocking stuffers as well as birthday party gifts if you give like a coloring book. They are a great deal. I just didn't have a need for them, and I just didn't want to pick any up. But I did pick up these. These are a 30 count of pencil top erasers. And like I said, it has a 30 count. And the reason why I picked up these were because for Halloween, I give the kids um, in her class a little bag, and I thought I could put some of these in there, and they would be a good deal because they can use them. And there's 30, so I just have to buy one pack instead of a whole bunch. So I thought this one was a good deal. And they just look like little, um, like little crayons. And they're all in different colors. The green, the purple, pink, orange, red, and blue, and yellow. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was a good deal. Then I picked up this. And this is a canvas art and this one says love is love is the answer I was gonna say love is in the air 
love is the answer and i just thought this was very rustic farmhouse it is in that some of those fall colors but it could also be for somebody that has that rustic farmhouse and i put this in my entryway and i just think it needed these type of colors in my entryway I had something else right there, but I moved it and I put this and I think this is going to stay year round. I don't mind the autumn leaves and stuff like that. I, I don't mind it to have it year round. So I did pick up this one and I just think it is really pretty and farmhouse. So then I picked up a couple of Halloween cards. You guys will see why I'm like out of focus. <laughs> So you guys will see why I actually picked these up, but I hope it works out. If not, oh well. <laughs> I have Halloween cards. I picked up these. This one is by the Heartline, um, the Har Hallmark Company, and this one just says Happy Halloween. This is kind of like a foil or kind of like a holographic type like you can see the colors kind of but I just think it's nice. It's hard to find cards that are horizontal and not vertical so I was looking for horizontal for something I will show you in a minute um so I picked up this one I didn't really care too much about the inside I just wanted the outside I did pick up the envelope because I can use the envelope if I don't if I use the card separate then another horizontal card that I picked up was this one it says it's Halloween and we will we will haunt you I just thought that was cute and it does have some type of glitter, but again, it was hard to find horizontal ones. Oh, shit. I don't know where I left off because my brother came. I did some Disney shirts for him, and they're going to Disneyland, and um, he came to pick them up. So I completely forgot where I was at. Uh, I think I was showing you guys these. I think I showed you guys these, um, but I'll show you guys what I'm thinking of doing with them right now. I also picked up from Dollar Tree are these recipe books. So I picked up this crock pot recipe one. This one says it's five ingredients or less. So these came out a while ago, but my Dollar Tree, of course, you never know when you're going to get them. Sometimes um, some Dollar Trees will have them and then some won't. Sorry, this the glare is kind of everywhere. But I found this one, which I love crock pot recipes. I'm a big fan of crock pot recipes. And I'll be honest, I think I did one, which was the Asian beef with broccoli. It's this one right here. And it looks really good. Uh, when I did it, I don't know what I did wrong, but I don't, I didn't like it, to be honest. I just, uh, I don't know and I wanted to like it and I tried it I went by the recipe the only thing and I don't know if this is what it was I used beef broth but I didn't use um, the condensed beef broth and it says undilute uh, undiluted on here so I think that might have been it but honestly I don't know but they do it does look like they have some good recipes that I want to keep trying so if you guys want to see a video on crock pot recipes and basically this book let me know and then that way i can maybe film a video i do want to do the chicken taco one that's in here uh, there is a couple that i want to make for my family so let me know if you guys want to see some crock pot recipes i'll try and do them then I did pick up the Velveeta. This one is the Crowd Pleasing Recipes. And this one, another one, I do love doing mac and cheese with the Velveeta cheese. And I saw a whole bunch of recipes in here that I want to try. So I have another two books that I have found from Dollar Tree. Let me know if you guys do want to see some recipes with these Dollar Tree books. And yeah, I think these are great, especially like... The Velveeta ones, a lot of them are more like football season, like when you have people over or parties and you know, it's that type of time of year. So let me know and maybe I can film a couple videos with this. If you guys like maybe the first one, I can do a couple more. So Dollar Tree, um, what else did I get from Dollar Tree? I think that's it from Dollar Tree. Then I did pick, went I did go to the 99 cent only store and picked up some things. I picked up some Halloween things. 
So I picked up this one, and this one is an LED tabletop decor. It's a little ghost, and it does turn on, as you can see. I just think he's so cute. Like, I'm more, it's pretty bright, actually. Um, I'm more of the cutesy Halloween because of my daughter, and I tend to pick up more of, like, the bright purple, the bright green, the bright orange. That's my style. I, and honestly, even when she grows up, I think I might stay with that. But I just think this is cute. And I have an idea in mind. I Honestly, I just want it for decor. But I just thought he's cute and it lights up. I only picked up one, but they did have a skull like this. But I just wanted one and I don't need that many. So I picked up one of those. Then I did pick up some cookie cutters. These are a set of five. And these are the circle ones. So I've been searching at the 99 cent store for cookie cutters because what I want to do is use them for um, like my daughter's sandwiches, like her school sandwich. I want to kind of cut the crust out. And not that I want her to not eat the crust. She just doesn't eat it anyways. Sometimes, sometimes she does it. I just think... It's cute, and I will show you guys the ones that I picked up at Walmart. I pick up, I picked up one, but they didn't. They had one, and it was a bear shaped, and it was way too big. Then today I found these cookie cutters, and this circle one is probably as big as a piece of bread because um, I did like measure out. Bread is usually as big as my palm. Um, so when I was looking in store, I wanted to make sure that maybe this could fit. It might be a little bit bigger, but that's fine. And I want to use these for her lunch, but then it comes with a whole bunch of other ones, which I'm okay with that. And yeah, for a dollar, you get a set of five. They did have this shape and then they had a different shape, which I can't even remember which one it was. And then, um, I did pick up a different one at Walmart. Then I went, oh no, this is still the 99 cent only, sorry. I picked up these Halloween, this is a lace table decoration, and it's supposed to be like this, and this was only 99 cents, and I want to see if it fits my table, because my table isn't that big. So I guess we'll see how big it is. It does say 30 by 40 uh, inches, so I don't know if my, how big my table is. I guess I'll just... Let me just check. Maybe this is just, could be for this little buffet thing I have right here. I need scissors. I don't think it's gonna be that big. Oh yeah, it's not that big for my table. Oh, okay, it could be for like my coffee table in my living room, cause it is, you know, 30 by 40 inches. Not my table, I don't know how big that is, but this is a kind of rectangle shape, so maybe I'll just use it for that. I, I Or just the top of my table. I don't know, I'll use it though. Um, and then the 99 cent store, I also picked up one of these. This is just a Crisp Waters Glade. Um, these are the solid air fresheners. I use these underneath my sink, so. Um, the other one I picked up was a Hawaiian Breeze, I think. And that one smelled good, but it's running out, so I need another one. Then I picked up this one. I didn't need any more pumpkins, but I did pick up more. Um... <sighs> Sorry, guys. So I picked up this pumpkin um, from the 99 cent store. I don't need any more pumpkins, but I just thought this color, if you can see my living room, like my curtains, if I can point at them right there, they're kind of this color and I thought I could just incorporate a little bit of color and a little bit of this color into uh, some of my decor. So yeah, I just picked up one and I'm gonna put this in my living room. I know I just did a fall tour and soon I will take that all down and put my Halloween stuff and then starting November I will put it back up I know I'm crazy I know but that's what I do and I put up my fall stuff in August so I've already had it for a long time so for me I'm okay um, and I don't mind taking it down and up and whatever I don't mind it but 
I did pick up this one. I just think the pattern, it seems like it's like kind of like quilted and it's just really nice. I think I kind of feel like I should have bought more, but I need to stop, you know, when you need to stop buying so much fall stuff. <laughs> and then um, the one of the last couple things I picked up from the 99 cent store. So I picked up this. This is a letter board with a photo frame. This was $3.99. And it is in that purple, which for Halloween, I just wanted specifically for Halloween, nothing else. And I've been wanting one of these. I just, I, I've been going back and forth if I really need it. But $3.99, I saw one at Target today. It was 50% off and it was for seven something. And I just figured $3.99, seven, I mean, it's better quality, obviously, at Target. But you know what? I want it for Halloween. And what I want to do is, um, I don't know if these are going to fit. So I'm going to be putting this inside here. I'm hoping that I could cut it down and maybe it will fit. So if not, then I could just use this one in here somehow. So that's my idea. I hope it, you know... I hope I can do that. So this is what I'm going to be using. It does come with, it says letter board with photo frame includes 145 letters and characters uh, personalized with your positive vibe, witty remarks, inspirational quotes, and much more. So this is 11.8 inches wide by 11.8 inches in height. So it's a good size and I just think it's nice for Halloween. So I'll be doing that. And then I bought, these are food, this is food related, but I picked up these. These are the Ritz Crisp and Thins. These are cream cheese and onion. And this big box was $1.99. And I wanna see if, I wanna see if, sorry, I had to, if these are good, um, maybe I should do a taste test with you guys. Um, see if it's good. Oh, wow. Well, this one is open, so I don't think I can do a taste test with that. Are they all open? No, that one was the only open one. But I'm going to try these because I bought them because they're oven baked and they're supposed to be 50% uh, less fat. So my husband's on a health journey or eating healthier. And um, I want... I wanted to get him these to see if they are good or not. They don't expire until November. So they look like this. These, Like I said, these are the cream cheese and onion. They're actually not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. They're actually good. But, yeah. So I picked up that for mostly my husband, but maybe I can eat them now. Then I went to Walmart and I picked up this. This was 98 cents. It's a Halloween little wood frame. And it just says it's an accent decor. It does have the twine. On this side, it kind of looks more rustic, but I think I'll use it on this side. So I guess you can use it on this side. It does seem like it has like the like the wood lines. Not wood lines, I don't know. Like palette wood lines, I don't know. But this was 98 cents. And then I did pick up some ribbon, some craft ribbon. They have some really nice ribbon at, uh, at Walmart. This was a dollar and um, it's just like, the glare is going to throw it off. Hmm. Let me take it off. The wrapper. So it's just really pretty colors. These are the colors I tend to go for. Anyway, so I picked up this ribbon for a dollar. Oh, then at Target, um, I picked up this spider web. It's in black. You can buy these at Dollar Tree. Also from Walmart, I picked up this, a cookie cutter. This is a Halloween one in their Halloween section. And this was, I think, 98 cents. 
and I use these for my daughter's lunch and it is a good size it does cut out the crust so this size is a good size for like sandwiches so I just picked up this one for her I just wanted to be a little festive in her school lunch so that was it and um, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I do have a thrift haul for you guys and that is it. I will be doing my three tier tray for Halloween as well as a Halloween decor video or a Halloween home decor tour. Um, so stay tuned for those as well. For all of my new subscribers, hi, I'm Cindy. Sorry, I haven't been able to introduce myself, but um, welcome to my channel. And my channel is kind of mishmash of all kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and stay and do. Oh, um, so I've already, this is how my hair turned out I, with that frizz thing, which is still kind of frizzy, but not as normal as it would be because it would probably be like this. Um, so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and if you guys want to see those recipes, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I could record those for you guys. <laughs> and that is it. See you guys.